the first thing you're going to do is measure down from your shoulder however far down you want your shirt to sit and we're going to be using the pattern that I show you how to make in my DIY bodycon dress so you're going to need some elastic and you're going to wrap it around your shoulders and across your chest making sure that you're pulling while you're doing this but not too tight because if you pull too tight then when you lift up your arms the shirt will fly up and if it's not tight enough the shirt will fall down you want to cut whatever this length of elastic is and sew it straight down so that you can use it in your shirt later You want to draw a line from your center front over to where your underarm stops. And you also want to draw a line down from your shoulder, whatever length you got when you measure where you want your shirt to start at. Um, you're going to measure up from your underarm line to this line so that you can use it on your sleeve pattern. And then you're just going to trace this pattern out only the shirt portion of this pattern though. You're gonna stop at the waistline. On your sleeve pattern, you should have a line across from the underarm straight over and you want to measure up the distance that you got on your shirt pattern. And then you're just going to line up the underarm with the shirt underarm so that you can check to see if the distances are equal. Um, if they're not equal, you simply just adjust it like mine. Mine wasn't equal, it was off a bit. So I just drew the line right on top of the shirt pattern and that helped me but be sure to add your seam allowance in because that's something that I forgot then you'll just trace your sleeve the same as you did for your shirt and you'll cut these pattern pieces out on paper since you are copying it and then you'll cut it out on your fabric um, you need two sleeves and a front and a back for the shirt, which will be the same exact thing. Um, both the sleeve and the shirt are going to be cut on a fold. So here you have your shirt piece cut out. You're going to pin them right sides facing along the side seam and sew with either a zigzag stitch, a stretch stitch, or a long straight stitch. You'll do the same exact thing that you did for the shirt for your sleeve. Cutting it out, pinning it together right sides facing, and stitching it with either a zigzag, a long straight stitch, or a stretch stitch. Now you're going to pin the sleeves to the shirt with right sides facing at the seams first and then up to the front and out to the back, stretching it to be sure that it fits perfectly. Then you'll take it to your machine and stitch like you did every other piece.
After you stitched everything together, then you want to find your center front, your center back, and your side seam so that you can pin the elastic down. You want to do this for both the elastic and the shirt, and then bring the elastic to the shirt to match the notches that you made for your front, back, and side seams. After you've matched it, you want to take it to your sewing machine and sew it with a zigzag stitch. This is what it should look like after you've applied the elastics and made the ruffles. To make the ruffles, you're going to take your piece to your machine and use a very, very small zigzag stitch on the very end, unless you want to roll the end to get a more finished look. And when you're done, it should look like this. I decided to make a matching skirt, so I did half of my waist measurement minus four centimeters and then whatever length, cut it out and then I stitched it together.